up YouTube, what's up, how are you all doing, hope all is well, I'm Ambitious Jackie and this morning I'm here to sh give you a little video, guys I came, when I was coming home from work this morning, I went into a supermarket or the supermarket to do a, to buy a bread and I ended up buying some snacks that we needed, my husband and I needed, so I think let me do a little shopping haul with you, snack shopping all with you and show you what i got you know because i'm not really posting too regularly or regular so i think let me bring it with me and then guys before i go any further i must give you a little story or a little joke guys when i came home from work i met i'm a person like this i don't keep ring on if i if i'm doing something so when i came home from work i, I have some little t things to do so I took my ring off. Guys, I didn't know where I put it. When I was having my bath, I think, where's the ring? And then one man said, no man, your ring put up. Guys, only for to know when I'm ready to do the video. And it come back to me again like something out in my mind. Where is the ring? And guys, I start looking like mad. I don't know, see me sweating, me sweating, me couldn't find the ring. Because guys, it's a second pair. The second set, guys, and I can't afford it. But guys, at one point when I was looking for a thing to myself, me tell me I go tell me husband say because this is second one in buy and then it a go last. Me can't afford it. And guys, I search, I search, I search, and guess where I find like one per, one mind say, look in the uniform pocket that you just you you take you wear from work. And guys, I look, and when I look and I start shaking it out, I see one drop first and then i shake again and then the other one fell underneath the, the chair in the bedroom guys my heart came through my mouth happy that i find it because i don't know what i'm going to tell this man that i lost the the, the ring again you know so give god thanks i find it and i will keep it more safe as a lesson a warning to me keep it more safer you have a box keep it in the box when you're not wearing it so Happy for that, guys, that I found it. So, guys, my little shopping haul, I'm showing you. I bought a bread. This is the type of bread that we eat. You guys know um, natural brand. You know we don't eat white bread, so I bought a bread. And I bought two packs of wheat biscuits. This is my husband type of biscuit. He doesn't eat these ones and I buy smackers, like three packs for myself because we eat different, different things, but we are one. And then I buy this. I see these, they have these and special from, I think it's four pounds something for, for it and it comes with four packs. I buy this and then I buy, yes, I should say this one is for my husband with sour cream and onion, real potatoes with sour cream and onion this is my husband one i don't eat those things those one and this one is mine it's just lightly salted it's the same 100 percent potatoes lightly salted i got myself two packs because we're not supposed to eat these things but you know sometimes you feel for something you munch on something and then i buy i pick up a spicy bun and Two packs of coconut biscuits. And then I picked up as well three rock tops. And they are all coconut drops as well. And then I picked up four packs of sweet tea. These are me. My little snack when I'm going to work up. I, I drop one in my lunch bag. And I pick up this for my husband. This special is this for my husband. This one is like a yummy it just say yummy half and half strawberry flavor cake strawberry and van vanilla cake and the another one is the same yummy it's half and half this is vanilla and chocolate these are for my husband but what happened i noticed when the young lady were packing the bag in the supermarket she put these at the bottom and one of them have slightly crushed but he will manage it He's not a fussy man. He only likes his thing to well done and clean and nice. But apart from that, he's not fussy. Things like those, he, he doesn't fuss about. And about, I buy a bulla because my people at work, you know, you have to, um, they say encouragement, straight labor. 
at work, I will ask one of my people to do this or that for me, the ones that can manage, the ones that I function. And they will, will say, bring me a bulla. So I always have a bulla. You can't promise them something and don't give it. It's not right. And again, I buy three packs of Shirley biscuits. That's for my husband. He likes these things. And this is for me, Dixie. It's um, original biscuit. is crackers. But guys, it's a slightly salty taste. It's lovely. And then I buy for me two little donuts on a roast, on a bun. See, on a bun donuts. Put them in the microwave, guys, and just give them a tip of warming up and they're ready and nice to go. And I also get for my husband um, Lasco chocolate. He drinks, use the Lasco, but he doesn't drink the vanilla or those are the only Lasco he drinks is this chocolate. That's the only one he drinks, chocolate. Guys, he even use it to make cornflakes. If he's making cornflakes, instead of using... We don't use thin milk, condensed milk. He doesn't use, not even my last corn type, he doesn't use, he just stick to just this one. So we'll mix a bit out in water and then pour his cornflakes and drink. That's the way he likes it. That's what he likes. So I buy that for him. And guys, that will serve him very long because he doesn't use it regular. And I buy myself three last color soy. Guys, these things are getting very expensive. I think it's about $250 or near $250 for one. But guys, this is all I drink because I'm lactose intolerant. So I can't drink anything apart from these. So I buy myself three packs. And what else did I show? Okay, and I bought myself, my husband, a pack of um, instant coffee. 24 holds in this one, guys. And it's 900 and something, almost a thousand dollar for this. So each time when he's ready for a cup of coffee, he just remove one and put in his cup and he's ready to go. So I buy, get him one pack and it will serve very long as I said. And not last but not least, and I buy a pack of peppermint, tetley peppermint tea. This is a must, must in my home. Anywhere I live, must have one. Because sometimes, guys, my stomach feels for definitely peppermint. And it have to be peppermint. So, I always have one. So, I just pick up these few things as I show you guys. And I think, let me show you my little shopping haul. My little snack shopping haul. Because it's just snack. And, guys, if I tell you that these snacks cost... $5,490 to be exact. $5,490 all these. These few items got, I put them in one bag. Just this bag they came home in. So imagine, imagine you're coming home from shopping with spending $5,000 and you copy everything all in this. The only thing I had was to move is this. I put this into my lunch bag because it was too much on top. So I dropped this in my lunch bag because my lunch bag wasn't full, so it could hold something. So I dropped this in my lunch bag and the bread and the rest of few things that I show you come home in this. So see how time hard, guys. Food may have so dear. But what we're going to do, we have to live, we have to eat, guys. We have to eat. And as my husband always say, going to a supermarket or shop and buy rice, flour, sugar, cooking oil, salt. Those basic things, he said, that alone is not shopping. You must have snack. When he opened the cupboard or the bread pan or the, the, the snack pan, my husband must find snack. And this is not even the half amount of snack that normally I would buy to serve us for a time. But I keep topping up as we go along or as I go along, I keep topping up. So guys, thank you for watching my videos and many, many thanks to you all for your continuous help and support. And don't think I've ever take you guys for granted. Never. Anytime I come on um, to do a video and I do not say thanks or something like that, it's not that I am ill-mannered or anything or ungrateful. No, I can't be ungrateful to you guys. But sometimes I just want to let the video drawn quick and go. 
but I can't go without saying thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and welcome to all my new people, my new family, my new subscribers who just joined the Ambitious Jackie family. I hope you find your stay welcome over here. God bless you and look after yourself. And always, guys, you can't be good, be careful because the world out there so, you know, easy. Some things going on, guys, only God alone can help and will help. So, my love from my, from my home to you, to yours, love always one love in jesus name we shall make it and we will pull through bye bye god bless you